question. Can I do the... Um, okay, so we're going to turn on the computer, and then we're going to go to XP in order to start the partition first. So. As Microsoft loads... This do we need to have the last partition here? Yes, exactly. There's going to be an epic YouTube video. <laughs> this is going to be such an epic YouTube video. <laughs> so, control panel. We'll switch to the classic view. We're going to go to administrative tools. We're going to go to computer management. We're going to go to disk management. Log computer loads. So, for this computer here you have partitions, four of them, and the maximum number of partitions on a hard disk is four. So we want to delete this partition and let it be used for Edubuntu. So what we're going to do is right click, delete the partition. Yes. Wait, which partition was it? The fourth partition. So right here, I oh. just right clicked and then deleted it. All right. So once the partition is deleted, you should see 60 gig unallocated. We're going to close this window. We're going to get our USB stick, the one that says Edubuntu on it. We're going to put it into the USB drive, ignoring this. Turn it off, and then restart the computer. Now, the second step is we're going to enter the BIOS. And BIOS, what that does is it chooses the different boot sequence, or it in simpler terms, it picks the book that you want to read off the shelf. So I pressed F12 because at the bottom it said F12 boot menu, and it selects the boot device. So for this computer here, it gives you this interface, which chooses the different boot devices. I want to go to the Kingston Data Traveler because that's the name of my USB. I'm going to click Enter. I'm oh, sorry, press Enter. It install Edubuntu. We're going to install it now. Press enter. You have to wait a bit. So, now that's the uh, installation interface, we're going to click English. Press forward. It's in Canada. We're in Central. Sorry. Go up, 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 up. Central. Forward. The suggested option is USA. Please don't choose Canadian because otherwise you're going to have to deal with the uh, French keyboard input, which is not a great idea. You oh, can also oh, choose oui, oui. Cherokee for <laughs> syllabics, but for now we're going to choose USA. You can always change the keyboard layout later. Now, this is where the tricky part comes in. You're going to specify the partitions manually and advanced, click forward. This is the free space that we created when we deleted the partition on Windows XP. We're going to add, first we need a swap space. So we're going to type in a thousand here. So this is one gigabyte. We're going to press swap area and we're going to press OK. Now, because the swap area is created, we can now create the existing partition. So, this is the amount of space that we're giving to Edubuntu. We're going to use it as an external for journaling file system. We're going to choose the first one, slash boot. Then we're going to check mark this. And this is what we're going to use for Edubuntu. Click forward. Because this is Thomas Fiddler Elementary, um, Thomas Fiddler Memorial Elementary School, TFMES, the password and you're going to require my log password to log in and decrypt my whole folder, just for extra safety. We're not going to migrate anything and we're going to install now. And then that's it. That's the installation process. <laughs>